Neurostim is um, one of our most popular products and I believe that's because um, it's formulated in such a way as to be truly synergistic. Now we, or I began with vinpercetin, which is a, a cerebro-specific uh, vasodilator. So unlike something like ginkgo biloba, which causes vasodilation or increased blood supply everywhere, um, vinpercetin does it specifically within the cranium and within the brain. Now that may actually um, have some benefit for migraine users, but let's leave that for another topic. Uh, so what Vimpercetin does is, if you, think of a, if you think of the brain as a city, say the city of London, with the River Thames running through it, got two hemispheres of the brain, what Vimpercetin does is basically increases infrastructure, uh, electricity, communications, drainage, fresh water, sewerage return, and all that kind of stuff. Okay? So that's the kind of the analogy that it, it does. It also increases, as a, as a side benefit, increases ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, which is the energy currency of the body, ATP uh, synthesis and uptake within the brain, or synthesis and utilization within the brain, I should say. Uh, it's also a powerful neural antioxidant and inhibits the buildup of the age pigment, or uh, lipofuscin, or lipofuscin, how you choose to pronounce it, which is that same stuff that you'll see in liver spots when you look at the back of your granddad's hand. It, that accumulates over time in neurons. You can think of it as like a ball of wire wool that's rusted I suppose and this vimpercetin inhibits the buildup of that over time. So there may be implications in inhibiting senile dementia and other age related cognitive decline but for young, relatively young people like us, uh, vimpercetin works in the short term by increasing blood supply to the brain. Okay. Now we've also um, we've got in there aniracetum. Now the recetums are a uh, very interesting category of supplements because what they do is activate the corpus callosum which is the fibres that run across the brain that integrate the two neural hemispheres. Okay, So you can think of this as building much, many more bridges across the city of uh, across, uh, across the Thames to the city of London. So you think how much more traffic could be done if, you know, if each lane was multiplied by four. Uh, and I'm not saying that we're creating new neural pathways, I'm saying that we're activating existing ones. Okay. Um, and since that allows integration of the two hemispheres of the brain and since the brain has different areas that relate to different specialities, for example, um, spatial awareness might be located over here where vision is, is all of this subsystem, um, music appreciation or speech and language and then higher thought at the front of the brain. If we can integrate and uh, so integrate transmission between those areas and facilitate faster transmission between those areas, we can create more complete memories and we can uh, recall them faster and in greater detail. So for example, when you remember somebody you love from your past who's dead, it's not just their face that you remember, it might be the smell of, say, say your grandma, the smell of her perfume, the shape of the hook of the profile of her nose, the taste of her Sunday cooking, um, the time she insulted your grandfather at a very important social do and you were very shocked, you know, all these things play a part of, of memories, okay? So we need to integrate the different areas of the brain to create complete and um, more accurate memories. And this works just as well as it does when we come to you know, studying and things like that. As we put new memories in, we'll find that we integrate different aspects of, let's say we're studying the human body, different aspects of it and it'll all become integrated and you'll build up this huge, great detailed mental map and picture. Finally though, um, oh, uh, before we get to finally, we get to the other main benefit of the um, of aniracetum, which is that it's an anxiolytic. What that means is that it, again, it breaks down anxiety, much as bacopa does in neurochill. Okay, and that's important because although for a state of learning we need to be slightly aroused, as in neurological arousal, uh, too much arousal becomes anxiety, and that inhibits performance. Okay, so. The uh, aniracetum helps by calming you down. Imagine that you're at the start of an exam, you need to be kind of relaxed. So finally though, what we, if we're gonna speed up the process in the brain, we need to increase the amount of that important neurotransmitter that's involved in higher thought, which is called acetylcholine. So we've, what we've put in is something called dimethylaminoethanol, or DMAE, which is that part of the good stuff in oily fish 
which uh, has been shown to improve neural function. You know, all the studies that show ADHD kids do better with fish oils and all that kind of stuff. Well, the essential part of the fish oil that does that is to come from DMA, and we've put that in because what it does is it crosses the blood-brain barrier, gets into the brain, and increases the levels of acetylcholine. So a faster brain is going to deplete acetylcholine, so we need to top it back in at the top to make sure that we, can move, we continue with our accelerated cognitive function. Um, Neurostim got very few side effects because we've got a nice balance of everything we need in there to maintain uh, proper function of the brain uh, but just accelerate it slightly and there's no crash because we don't use any stimulants uh, you know you could take a neurostim and go to sleep it's not going to affect the sleep it's not going to affect your eating because it's not an appetite suppressant so generally it's a very benign uh, supplement that's very well tolerated I wouldn't suggest going above three capsules because I don't see the need. I think it's diminishing returns. One capsule is fine for some people. Personally, I like one capsule of Neurostim and one capsule of Premiracetum or two capsules of Neurostim. You know, it's good to play around with the doses and, and combinations because that's what we're here for, is to learn. And part of learning is self-experimentation.